Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi. First and foremost, I would like to thank you for watching this video. It's me, Fahada Nubinti Muhammad Fauzi. Metric number 147976. In this video, I would like to present about my mini thesis project which is ATU 397 and my supervisor is Dr. Siti Rohaida binti Muhammad Zainal and my co-supervisor is Dr. Anis Jani Ali Elias Hamid. The effect of workplace environment, infrastructure and incentives on employees' performance is my project title. My paper contains five chapters as what is shown in the table contents. The first chapter is introduction, second literature review, followed by methodology, results for chapter 4 as well as discussion in the last chapter which is chapter 5. For the introduction, I would like to start with the background of studies. There is no doubt that every organization needs orderly and effective management. This is because every organizational management want their organization to achieve the set targets effectively. In the context of this study, we made the staff of University Science Malaysia as respondents to study the extent of the effect of the workplace environment, infrastructure and incentives on the performance of their work next, let us move to the problem statement. Tracing the era of development today, strong employee performance is essential for the organization to achieve the goal that have been set. However, employee turnover problems are common. It often happens due to the things that create discomfort for the employees himself, thus deciding to stop serving in the workplace. There are several factors that can be emphasized in creating a positive aura in the workplace, such as the work environment, incentives offered to the employees, as well as the infrastructure provided to facilitate employees to complete the tasks that have been given by the employers. There are relationships between workplace environment, infrastructure, and incentives toward the employees' performance. The finding of this study will redound the benefit of society considering that workplace environment, infrastructure and incentives plays an important role in employees' performance. So, for this side, I am going to talk about the research objective. A. To determine the impact of working environment among USM staff. B. To check the impact of pay incentive on performance of USM staff. C. To check the impact of infrastructure on employees' performance of USM staff. Then for chapter number one, let us move to chapter number two. Here, I am going to present about the literature review. For the employee performance, based on a previous research, according to Cooper and Cartwright, 1994, high-performing workers are perfect. Since employee performance directly impact the organization bottom line. While, according to Suhartini, 1995, employee performance is a combination of the result of effort, ability, and perception of tasks. For the working environment for workload, according to study conducted by Moy, 2006, stated that Clerical and Professional Workers Association found there are 65.5% of workers believed a five-day work in a week would help them better in managing their private matters, whereas half of respondents believe that this practice will allow them to spend their leisure with their families and improve their quality of life that helps them to improve their productivity of work. Next, for the workplace environment variable, for the harassment part, refer to Parker and Griffin, 2002. They have studied the negative consequences of gender harassment on distress and demand on performance. While, according to Lee, 2005, psychological harassment and bullying are reduced when employers promote a fair and team-based Work climate. For the incentive part, according to Opkara 2002, job satisfaction is an outcome of varied factors like pay, promotion, the work itself, supervision, relationship between co-workers and opportunities for promotion. In addition, referring to Sheikh et al. 2010, it is important that the rewards have an impression on the employee and it will continue to verify that the employee's perception that they are valued mostly. Next, for the infrastructure variable, for the office environment part, refer to Keeling and Kalaus, 1996. 
The quality and quantity of work produced by employees is influenced by the office environment, while, according to Carnival 1992, Climate and Coom 1997, a better physical of environment will improve employee performance and increase their productivity. For the office furniture part, according to Brook 2000, while an ergonomic environment is important in increasing employee productivity, adjustable office furniture such as desks and chairs that can support employees in generating their work is recommended. This is to allow for work comfortably throughout the day. So. End of chapter 2, let us move to chapter 3, which is methodology. All the data has been computed by using IBM SPSS software version 20. For the first method that I've been used is descriptive analysis. This is to analyze data such as gender, age, and etc. Frequency and percentage were used in this method. Next, reliability analysis. This method used to assess the validity of questionnaire. Then, correlation. This method can be converted into a correlation coefficient. Its values have ranged from negative 1 to 1. Regression. By squaring the person correlation coefficient r, the term r square or coefficient of determination was coined. And the last but not least, the level of significance. The, the significance level for all statistical analysis is predetermined in these studies. The 0.05 significance level was used to make a judgment in the hypothesis testing of whether to reject or not to reject them. Now, let's focus on the result. The total number of respondents are 40. Okay. First, for the gender, majority of them are male, which score 57.7%, or 23 respondents out of 40. While the number of female staff that took part in this survey are 17, or we can say as 42.5%. While for the respondent age part, majority of respondents are in the category of 30 and below, which was 15 of them or 37.5% of them. Next, for the range of salary, majority of respondents earn their salary in the range below RM3000 monthly. Last but not least, for the years of service part, the majority, which is 19 respondents, have served at USM for 5 years and below. Based on this table, it indicates the conbug alpha value for the measuring items of independent variables and dependent variables. All the variables of conbug alpha value were significantly higher than 0.7. Conbug alpha, which is more than 0.7, was considered satisfactory. In this table, namely the table of descriptive analysis, was achieved by mean values, standard deviation, and correlation analysis. In this study, it shows that the mean and standard deviation value for dependent variable and independent variables. Based on the result, the highest mean is achieved by incentives, which is 3.8500. Results show that incentives have the highest correlation that affect employee performance. The hypothesis testing discussed about linear regression analysis. For H1, better workplace environment affect the employee's performance negatively. For H1, the result shows that the working environment is significantly has a positive relationship to employee's performance. Beta value is 0.625 and it is significant as P less than 0.001. Therefore, the hypothesis is unaccepted. Should be a better working environment affect the employee's performance positively. For H2, better incentives for employees at workplace can improve the employee's performance. For H2, it shows the R2 value is 0 0.610, which is very near to value of 1. This means that there is a positive relationship. F value is 0 0.60, thus this hypothesis is accepted. For the H3, 
better infrastructure has positive impact on employees' performance. For H3, the regression model shows R2 is 0 0.310, with adjusted R2 value is 0 0.292. F value is 0 0.60, therefore, the hypothesis is accepted. Discussion for H1, a better workplace environment affects the employee's performance negatively. The finding from this study shows a very significant relationship between workload and harassment towards employee's performance. This is because no single employee can perform excellently when the workplace environment is bad. H2, better incentive for employees at workplace can improve the employee's performance. Everyone will feel very happy when being appreciated, as well as employees. With the incentive, especially from the employer, they will feel motivated and will perform well, and hope that they will get more such incentive in the future. For H3, better infrastructure has positive impact on employees' performance. A good office environment and office furniture can be considered as a better infrastructure. A good office design has a positive effect on employees' productivity and similar assumptions are being tested in the study of the Saudi Aramco Office Project Management in Saudi Arabia. For implication, the implication of this study should be carefully examined to make understand the matter which influence the employee performance among University Science Malaysia staff. For limitation and suggestion for future research, number one, the number of respondents is limited. It just cover 40 respondents and the department are mixed up. More respondents in the future research and the questionnaire need to be distributed truly to each department. It is important to gain more understanding. Number two, this research is limited to understand the relationship between workplace environments and employees. But there are other factors that may influence the employees' performance. Therefore, more research in identifying and understanding other factors will be beneficial. In conclusion, the research investigates the impact of workplace environment, incentive, and infrastructure on employees' performance. Analysis and interpretation of the data have empirically demonstrated that infrastructure and workplace had a significant impact on employees' performance. The results of impact of incentive at workplace had a positive impact on employees' performance of University Science Malaysia. The results of better workplace environment affect the employees' performance negatively is rejected. Furthermore, there are two hypotheses accepted which are the better incentive for employees at workplace can improve the employee's performance as well as better infrastructure has positive impact on employees' performance.